Lesson number 13, Artemisinin and Taxol. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the importance and medicinal value of artemisinin and its derivatives. And recall that artemisinin is extracted from the Chinese plant Artemisiae annua and is used for treating malaria and reducing its transmission. And describe the importance and medicinal value of taxol. Recall that taxol is derived from the yew trees and is used as an anti-cancer agent. Artemisinin is widely used in China and Southeast Asia for the treatment of malaria. It is extracted from the leaves of the shrub Artemisiae annua. Derivatives of artemisinin include artemether and artilinate. Artemisinin and its derivatives kill plasmodium, the parasite that causes malaria. It also prevents plasmodium from reproducing inside its mosquito vector, therefore reducing transmission from person to person. Unfortunately, artemisinin is only active in the body for a few hours. However, combination with other anti-malarial drugs increases its effectiveness. This combination treatment is called artemisinin-based combination therapy, or ACT, and its use is recommended by the World Health Organization in places where the malaria parasite has developed resistance to the anti-malarial drug chloroquine. The shortage of artemisiae leaves has prompted research into ways of making artemisinin in the laboratory. Genetically engineered yeast cells produce a substance like artemisinin which can easily be converted into artemisinin itself. Laboratory work trials have shown that the substance is more effective than the natural product. It's active in the body for longer and is cheaper to produce. Artemisinin may also be useful in the treatment of cancer. Early tests show it damages cancerous cells without affecting healthy ones. It also slows development of the vessels supplying blood to cancerous tissues. The tissue is starved of oxygen and dies. In the early 1960s, the US National Cancer Institute set up a program to look for new anti-cancer drugs sourced from plant materials. Success came in 1967 when a substance with anti-cancer activity was extracted from the bark of the Pacific yew tree. The substance was Taxol. The chemical structure of Taxol was worked out in 1971 and by 1980 the effects of Taxol on cells were understood. It stopped cells from dividing. The cells die. Cancerous cells are affected more than healthy ones. There was so much demand for Taxol as a possible anti-cancer drug that demand for bark from the Pacific yew tree soared. However, the tree is one of the slowest growing in the world and is a protected species. Only a small amount of Taxol can be extracted from the bark and the tree is killed in the process. Luckily, a substance similar to Taxol was discovered in the needle-like leaves and twigs of the European yew tree. The substance was chemically modified to form a semi-synthetic version of Taxol called Paclitaxel. This became available for the treatment of a variety of cancers in 1995. European yew trees quickly replaced their needles. Taking large quantities of needles therefore has little effect on the number of yew trees. However, producing enough Paclitaxel to meet demand is costly and limits use of the drug. In the future, scientists hope to be able to synthesize the anti-cancer part of Taxol in the laboratory. Alternatively, yew tree cells could be grown as a cell culture on a large scale producing Taxol.